hey y'all you're getting an extra one here today because just as i was almost finished with the previous one the reading of the second half of the chapter the 119th chapter of the book of psalms my camera stopped it said it overheated and it just stopped at least it stopped at a good place so i can continue now i put it in a ice chest and put 20 pounds of ice on it it should be cool by now and that's a joke i did not do that i did cool it off though so here we go finishing the 119th chapter of psalms which is the longest chapter in the bible i cried with my whole heart hear me O lord i will keep thy statues i cried unto thee save me and i shall keep thy testimonies i prevented the dawning of the morning and cried I hope in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according to thy loving kindness. O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider mine affliction. Whoops, there you go. And deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statues. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. I love the word forever when I read it in the Bible. Because it means for ever and ever and ever and ever. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and I abhor lying but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. I guarantee you I praise the Lord a lot more than seven times a day. And I hope you do too. You know, we are commanded to pray without ceasing. Most of my praying now is praising the Lord. And now let me see where I left off at there. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. And I can say amen to that. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. 
My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteous. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. And let me say something there, because on my own, I have not chosen anything of God. But God, through the Holy Spirit, makes me desire only the things of God. That's the way it works. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit, y'all. Be baptized with water and be baptized in the Holy Spirit and live for the Lord. Okay, we're about done here. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee. And let thy judgments help me, and they do. I don't look forward to his judgments, but when I get them, they do help me. And I need help to be closer to the Lord, to be more obedient to the Lord, to be a better servant for the Lord. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, O Lord, for I do not forget thy commandments. And that, my friends, is the end of Psalm 119. I pray that it touches you the way it touches me, all of God's Word. You know, God's Word is so awesome. It is wonderful. I, I li literally could sit and pray and read the Bible all day long. And that's what I'm doing the last couple of days because my body is so messed up right now. I, I could barely walk out here. Look right here. See the walking stick there? I gave up my walker two and a half years ago. Yesterday, I was in such bad shape, I almost went and got it out of storage but I didn't but I did use my walking stick and I'm using it today it was a chore for me to walk this short distance from the camper out to where I am here I'm out here because I have no internet in the camper and let me show you something about two and a half feet away from me <laughs> something I saw after I sat down and this is a different spot from where I was earlier because the spot I was at earlier is in the bright sun now and it is hot out here it's got to be 130 degrees or so out here I don't know what the temperature is I'm sure it's not 130 but it is hot and I do not feel like working today I, my body is just in pain from head to toe I, my pain pump I'm sure is doing good but I got way more pain than it can help and I I can't do anything really it was all I could do just to walk out here. But anyway, let me show you. After I saw this, I, I couldn't move. I've got this picnic table I dragged over here to lay my Bible and notepad and everything on. And it, it is difficult for me to do anything right now, much less move a picnic table. But let me extend my selfie stick a little bit because I don't want to get any closer than what I am and show you a red hornet nest very close to me, about two, two and a half feet away. I get bit probably seven or eight times a year by red hornets. There are a lot of them out here. I've been bitten the last few days by yellow jackets, and I have never seen a yellow jacket out here until two or three days ago. Odie and I was walking back right. Let's see if I can find it. That Chinese tallow tree right back over there. Well, I can't get my finger up there. Right over there has got a big yellow jacket nest in it, and I didn't see it. And it's a big one, but it's down low, you know, way up above my eyesight. It's down close to my chest or maybe my stomach. And I was looking straight ahead and walking, and I brushed right by the side of it, and those wasps went all over the place and one got me 
on the hand, one got me on the side of the face, and one got Otis somewhere, I don't know where, but just as they got me, he went, you know, yep, like that, so I know one got him too. So I stay away from that tree now. I don't knock them down. I used to when I was a kid, but I don't anymore. You know, they're part of God's creations, and the only thing I kill is poisonous snakes. I will kill a poisonous snake. I carry a pistol at all times. I'm a very good shot. I shot a copperhead, blew his head off with one shot about 15 feet away with my handgun about two months ago. I posted pictures of it on my uh, Hanging Out with Stan Facebook page. It was a big copperhead too, and it was about two feet from my foot when I saw it. I drew my weapon and I fired right there. <laughs> Well, I take it back. I did back up. After I saw it, I did back up a little bit. So it was probably 10 to 15 feet away when I shot it. But he was about two feet from my foot when I saw it. I have been bitten by a copperhead. I have been bitten by a water moxican. And Odie Boy has been bitten by a copperhead. It's not a pleasant experience. But I, I could ramble on and talk to y'all all day. But I, I got to go, y'all. Let me extend my selfie stick a little bit so you can hopefully see that. Red Hornet nest. Let me see if I can flip that up a little. And I can't see, when I turn this camera around, I can't see what you're seeing. So I hope you can see it. But look right there. Can you see that? I hope you was able to see it. All right, that's it for now, y'all. Y'all behave. Cuddle up to Lord Jesus Christ. Listen for his still small voice. He is calling you. You probably know what I'm talking about. You probably think you're not ready for him, that you can run and hide. You cannot run. You cannot hide from God. He is everywhere at the same time, all the time. Submit to him because you do not know when your time on earth is over. Nobody knows. You know, I could be gone to heaven before I get back to the camper. Nobody knows. The rapture is imminent. It could happen. If you're not ready for the rapture, friend, you're going to be in for stuff you don't want to be in. I promise you. You think the evil is, you think the world is evil and messed up now? This ain't nothing compared to what it's going to be during the seven years of tribulation. Repent of your sins. And the Bible says we're all sinners and you know you're a sinner. Jesus blood is powerful enough to totally cover totally eradicate your sins he can wash you white as snow accept him listen to his small voice go running into his arms y'all subscribe to my channel share my videos tell people about me because i tell people about jesus and people needs to hear about jesus love y'all